Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more number program in Python that is a neon number. So first let us see which number is called as a neon number and then we'll implement the same thing in Python language. Right? So if a number is called as a neon, so first we need to find the squares, square of number and after that we need to add the individual digits of this square so sum of individual digits of square and then compare the sum with a square with n right so compare a sum with number so if both are equal we can say it as a neon number right so for example if for example take the number n as some 9 9 first of all we need to find the square so some s is equal to 9 into 9 so which is nothing but 81 right Next, what we have to do? Sum of individual digits of a square. So, sum of individual digits means the sum is equal to, what are the individual digits? 8 plus 1. So, we need to sum the individual digits of the square. So, which is nothing but 9. Now, compare sum with the number. So, what is the sum value? 9. So, sum is equal to is equal to n. That implies it is a neon number. It's a neon number. And if a sum not equal to n, it's not a neon number. Not a neon number. Right? So, this is how we have to find whether the given number is a neon number or not. So, once again, I'm repeating. First, take the number, right? Read the number from the keyboard. Then, find out the square of that number and find the individual digits of that particular square and compare the sum with the number so that if both are equal simply we can say it as a neon number right so we'll follow the three steps and we'll write the logic and execute in a python language so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen uh, how to find the neon number so First, we need to find out the square and then we have to add the number of digits so that we have to get the same numbers. Then we can call it as a neon number. So, I will execute the same, same thing. So, let us take a number n is equal to. So, int of uh, input function. So, enter value for n. So, that uh, after getting that one, find out the square. We need to find the square. So, uh, sqr is equal to n double star or we can simply use n into n now we got a square so now we need to find the individual digits of the square and we have to sum so so re repeat the loop until a square greater than 0 and find out the reminder so that we'll get individual digits so digit is equal to sqr divided mod 10 mod 10 and now we need to add a, add all the digits right so sum is equal to sum plus digit right now reduce the square so sqr is equal to sqr floor division of 10 so that it will be reduced right now this will be repeated and uh, finally uh, let us take one temporary variable so temporary is equal to sqr and uh, sorry so it's not required i think yeah yes so now if uh, the sum value is equal to n then we can simply say that the number is a number is neon number right and if not simply we can print it as a not a neon number is not neon number 
right so for example uh, we have we know we have taken 9 as an example so 9 is an a neon number so some sort of error has been done yes so initialize sum with a zero so that you can get a 9 is a neon number and if you give 10 10 is not a neon number right so hope you understood this one so first we need to find out the square and then we need to find the sum of individual digits of that particular square so that we have to get that particular number so then only we can say it as a neon number so here first we are finding the square and then we are initializing sum as zero so we are finding the individual digits and we are adding all those digits and finally we are comparing this sum with the given n value so if both are equal we are saying that it's a neon and otherwise it's not a neon number right so hope you understood this one right so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much